Now, for some so reason, good. I mentioned uh, maybe it was a couple of guests that were coming up or something was happening, and I said the phrase Stan and Jack. And Andy, of course, leapt on that and said, not Stan and Jack from On the Buses. I said, no, of course not. I mean Stan Collymore <laughs> and, and Jack, Jack Bannister. Oh. And we thought, well, what would it be like <laughs> yeah. if Stan Collymore and Jack Bannister were brought together yeah. to, uh, for the return uh, of On the Buses? Thankfully, we don't have to imagine what it's like. No. Because, uh, well, this is here for you at this very moment. Well, here we are, Stan, about to set up on the 55 for 5 service. After a long delay in getting underway this morning, a lot of cloud cover still persisting, but that's just the diesel fumes here in the depot, and how none of us have keeled over because of the combination of carbon monoxide and 20 roll-ups a day, well, goodness only knows it. You got your ticket machine there, Stan? I have. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Luxton and District Bus Depot. Um, but I'm not happy, Jack, and I'll tell you why. It's these fare increases. I've been banging on about bus ticket pricing on this show for years. To get on at, say, Braintree, and travel to, say, Chelmsford, used to be three and six. Now that we've gone decimal, the prices have suddenly rocketed to 35 pence. All I'm saying is, 20 is plenty. How are we going to have buses that are full upstairs and downstairs with more you, less me, if the man in the street has been priced out so much that he remains the man on the street. It's wrong. Well, here, here to that, and you mentioned Chelmsford there, and I'll bet that Geraint Jones will still be thinking that 20 would have been plenty when playing for Kent against Essex in 2002, when he needlessly gave his wickets away on 19 with a hopeless drive to short extra cover, and Ronnie Irani, who was definitely there fielding and not at Old Trafford at the same time. And oh, hang about, Jack. Look lively. It's Inspector Beakey. I'll get you, Bannister. No question about it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Dan. Yeah, so uh, all Ian his Dancer. own work. Brilliant Ian Dancer stuff. was uh, listening in, and uh, yeah, thanks, Dancer. <laughs> he pulled that all together for us. Top work. Top man.